We are now going to do the most famous demonstration in all of introductory mechanics, the hunter and the monkey. In this demo, I will play the hunter, of course. And for the monkey, we wanted to get a live monkey, but after 102X and the dead cat, we got a lot of phone calls. So we're going with this fake monkey. So here's the monkey, fake monkey, not alive. Everything will be fine. And before we do the demo, of course, we have to talk about the physics, right? That's, that's actually the fun part. So the uh, hunter is over here, and I'm not going to wear the hat, of course. And the hunter has a gun, and he's going to shoot the gun. So the bullet is going to have an initial velocity uh, like that, v naught, And he shoots it, and he aims right at straight line, looking through his sights, right at the monkey. So here's the monkey. And it's sort of holding on to a branch. Here he is, like that. And the branch is in a tree, like this. There's the tree, like that. There we go. Aimed right at the monkey. Now, we need a few uh, uh, parameters here. So here's, let's say, the ground down here. So we need to know this distance, the distance horizontal from where the bullet starts to where the monkey is. So that's kind of like the x component, D. And we need to know how high the monkey is relative to um, the bullet. So we'll call that H. So the distance and the height. And the, let's see, so yeah, he has aimed his gun where he should hit the monkey. He has it at some angle theta, gives it some velocity. Okay, so now to figure this out, first we've got to go with the story. We need a narrative here, right? So what's going to happen? The hunter shoots, shoots, Exclamation point. What do we hear? We hear a bang. Bang. Very loud. All right. So what happens when the monkey hears a bang? It freaks out. Have you ever seen a monkey freak out? It's scary. Okay, he's going to freak out. He's going to let go, and the monkey drops. Oh, no. The monkey's going to fall. It's okay, though. And the question really is, is do, does the hunter's bullet hit the monkey? All right. That's the question we come down to, is do we have a hit? All right, so there is the story of the demo. He aimed right at the monkey. He shot, the monkey dropped right when he shot. Um, does he hit it? Okay, so this is a trajectory problem, clearly. It's sort of a two-body trajectory problem. The bullet's going, the monkey's going. And the best way to approach these, I think, is simply to write down the position vector. That's what I keep saying for all of them. We're going to write the position vector for the bullet and the position vector for the monkey under... Uh, the case of constant acceleration, constant gravitational acceleration down, no acceleration in the horizontal. So let's do that. So here is the position vector RB of the bullet. It's x component. It has no initial x position. We'll assume that this is the origin. Let's say it's, that's the origin down there. So zero position. It has an initial x velocity, v naught cosine theta, uh, times time. All right, so it starts out at zero. v naught cosine is the horizontal component times time. And that's all it has in that direction, right? There's no acceleration in the horizontal. In the vertical, let's see, it has zero offset. It has v naught uh, sine theta, t. That's its initial y velocity. And it does drop at 1 half g t squared in the y because gravity pulls down the bullet, right? j hat. All right, now let's write down the position vector for the monkey. So the monkey's x position starts out at d, and the monkey has no x velocity. It just falls straight down. The monkey has no x acceleration, because there's no reason for there to be one. So the monkey's x position is simply d, d times i hat. Okay. The monkey's y position is what? Uh, let's see. The monkey's y position, the initial y position of the monkey is h. Starts out at h. Uh, let's see, and then his initial velocity is zero, and he accelerates down as he falls. So minus one half g t squared. Or I'm putting a minus because we're assuming g is a positive number, 9.8, and that's in the j hat. So that's how I always like to do these problems. I like to write out the full, uh, the full um, expressions for the position because we know we can get everything from these velocities, accelerations. Etc. Okay, but then the question is, do they hit? All right, that's really what we need to solve for: is are they going to hit? The way to ask that is, um, does R B 
position equal our m position at any time. If they hit, they have to be in the same place at the same time. So in a way, we really just have to equate these two and say, is there a time where that is true? Okay. So let's do it first by just equating x and equating y and see if there's any time where the x components will be the same and the y components will be the same, just to avoid all the vector notation. So let's see, is there a time when v naught cosine theta t, and I'll say t star because we're looking for a specific time, um, equals d, right, the bullet equal the monkey, and is there a time when v naught sine theta t star minus one half g t squared equals h minus one half g t squared. And these are all t stars. Is there such a specific time when those are both true? Well, one thing you'll see is, oh, well, they both have this term. That goes away. That's a hint to the answer, right? Their gravity terms cancel. Uh, so then we're left with, is there a time when v naught cosine theta t star equals v naught sine theta, or I'm sorry, when v naught cosine theta t star equals d and v naught sine theta t star equals h? Is there ever a time when that is true? What would it take to make that true? For that to be true, we could solve for t star and set them equal to each other and see what the requirement is. Okay, so let's look at that. If we solve this for t star, it would be v naught cosine theta over d. v naught cosine theta over d. That would have to be equal to this t star, which is v naught sine theta um, over h. v naught sine theta over h. So really then, the answer is the hunter will hit the monkey if that is true. And that looks weird. How can we do with that? Well, we can cancel the v naught. Okay, I did that step. Now what would you do? Uh, we could put the sine over the cosine and call it tangent. That's popular. All right, so let's say tangent theta uh, equals h over d. So we would say this is the condition that's required for the bullet to hit the monkey. Well, is that what we have here? It is. Look at this triangle right here. Here's theta, here's h, and here's d. What's the tangent of theta? h over d. This is the condition you need for the hunter to be aimed right at the monkey, is at the tangent theta h over d. So according to kinematics, it seems like it will hit. Right? And according to your intuition, it will probably hit. You know that this bullet is going to drop due to gravity. And you know this monkey is going to drop due to gravity. They're going to drop the same amount due to gravity. That's what happened when these two terms uh, just went away. So you take those terms away, and sure enough, they're going to hit. In fact, the monkey has to drop. If you shoot and the monkey doesn't drop, the bullet would go under. Right? It's actually critical that the monkey freaks out and lets go. So let's see if it's true in the real world. We're going to come around here and uh, shoot the gun. Monkey will drop at the same time. So here at Rice, we like to give the monkey a sporting chance. So we actually shoot him with a blowgun. So here is the blowgun at, set at the right angle. And then over there, the monkey is hanging from the tree with an electromagnet. So what we need to do is to aim it just right, look in here, and make sure that we see the monkey straight down the tube of the blowgun. And there he is. These are the bullets for the blowgun. And this little clip on the end is a switch that breaks the electromagnet. So when that pulls up, the monkey falls. So you're going to see that happen when I put the bullet in. All right, so I'll pull it up, and I'll go ahead and put the bullet in and push it to the back like that. So now, when the bullet flies out, the monkey's going to fall again. Let me go set the monkey up again. All right, everything is set. We've got the gun, the bullet, the switch, and the monkey. Now, I just attach this highly sanitary tube to blow into this, like that, and... I take this end, and here we go. 